In this lecture snippet, I want to focus on three different utilities that are common when it comes to the Linux operating system for data acquisitions, which is going to be for copying one disk to another or taking a disk and copying it to an image. The first command that I want to talk about here is the dd command. And you can see it's already been installed on Ubuntu. This is a very old Unix-based command. It's been around for a long time, and most Linux operating systems come with it already installed. Now this command is good for either duplicating data or also destroying data from one disk to another. And so basically this is not really designed for forensic work but has been adapted for forensics and you can see that the defense computer forensics lab has actually taken the source code and they what's called forked it they basically took the source code and wrote their own application based off of it and you can see the DCFL for defense computer forensics labs version of DD and it is not installed on Ubuntu by default however running the sudo app-get install DCFL DD command will actually install that on there for you. And there are definitely some improvements when it comes to forensic work with this particular command. As it is much faster, it actually gives you the ability for hashing and even being able to take images into multiple parts. And so this is definitely an improvement. You also see that the Defense Cyber Crime Center has taken the DD command and made their own as well. Now this one is a different approach. Rather than actually forking the source code and making a new application, they actually provide an add-on to the DD command so that it can actually be adapted for forensics work. And you can see it's not installed on Ubuntu by default, but you can easily install it with a sudo app-get install dc3dd. Now all three of these commands require the same options, the basic options. And there are multiple options that are available with each one of those commands that are not listed here. However, for requirements, you need to have the IF and the OF. The IF is for the input file, OF is for the output file. And you can have devices listed for both of those, but I give you some different examples here. The first example I gave you is IF equals, and you see the forward slash DEV, forward slash SDA, which is the hard drive A associated with whatever operating system I'm working with. That's one example. You can also do a partition if you put the number in after it. And you also need the output of where the data will be going once it's being copied or duplicated. And you can see on this case, I gave an example of it going to the home folder, the user folder, and then to an image file called copy.img. And that will create a raw image that can be used for computer forensic analysis. And so all three of those commands are very useful and you will see them used in data acquisitions while using a Linux-based operating system.